It's seen better days, but still retains plenty of character. And this vintage Bedford truck, once used by Australia's first all-Indigenous fire crew at Bellbrook in northern New South Wales, is about to be brought back to life. The 1960s vehicle was unearthed after a chance discovery. Captain of uh, Newey Creek Brigade um, in Nambuckashire was driving through the Tamban State Forest uh, on his day job and through some trees he noticed a little flash of red and saw an old fire truck and as us firefighters tend to do he got a bit excited and he went and had a look and uh, as he got closer he saw that Bellbrook was emblazoned across the side. After a community fundraising campaign, the small Bellbrook Brigade was able to secure the old vehicle. They plan restoring it and highlighting its important place in the region's history. In the early 90s, it became the primary truck used by the local Thangadi community. We've got a really rich Indigenous history here at Bellbrook and very rich history of Indigenous participation in the Brigade. Uh, and the truck in particular uh, actually ended up as uh, the truck that was the first all-Indigenous fire crew and I believe the first all-Indigenous fire crew in the country. The Deputy Captain Gerard Chunk Wade remembers serving on the truck in the 1980s and is thrilled to see it back. Oh, well, I was amazed because I did a lot of time on, when I first joined the Brigade on this truck and it was just, yeah, it was just a blast from the past. Just to see it come back to Bellbrook and start coming back as the old unit that is just a piece of history because I like that, you know, it's sort of, I think that's just gold. The truck also holds special memories for Ray Quinlan. His late father, Eric, was part of the original Indigenous crew. It means a lot, but he, but really I much appreciate it. I just want to keep following his footsteps. And looking at all the old photos of him, you know, in the back in the days, in his fire suit, fire brigade suit, it just makes me real proud of him, and just want to make him proud of me. And I know if he'd be looking down at me with it being that proud. Restoring the truck will take time. Thanks to social media, there's already been offers of help from around the country. We've got a lot of interest, a lot of uh, offers for help and assistance to. Um, everything from upholstery in to uh, body works and engine rebuilds. Uh, but I expect it'll probably take two or three years to get it somewhere near its former glory, at which point we hope to be able to go out and do schools, um, go to shows, uh, go to rusty iron rallies and so forth and just show it off and, and uh, put Bellbrook on the map. Uh, we're only a very small, uh, fairly isolated village here and, and uh, it's nice to uh, uh, be able to show the rest of the world who we are and, and what we stand for. In the meantime, memories keep flooding back from a different era of firefighting. I remember standing in the back here where it was, there's not a lot of creature comforts or safety and you had a bar to hang on to and away you went, off to the fire. Just yeah, amazing that we could get it back and hopefully we're going to return it to service um, just for uh, training and historic service, just so people can see it. My biggest goal would be to be able to take it to Kempsey Show and have the new truck and the old truck parked next to each other for the couple of days. So that'd be great. Bellbrook's current truck now also highlights the region's Indigenous heritage thanks to artwork by Elwyn Toby. You've got the uh, firefighters, the water source, you've got the truck where safety is. It's just all about the water sources and how we fight the fires, that kind of thing. The old and new helping bring locals together. Thank you.